But right now I'm blocking in all the, the big shapes from a vague image of Ellie. But not some thick of pain. I see some blobs on my canvas. Kind of clarifying the negative space so I can find a drawing without drawing. I'm not talking about a dream. That's gonna be Ellie's hand. It's gonna come up. Tend to paint the negative space so I can find the positive. There are wonders in our lives. Shapes against shapes. There's Ellie's hand. And I'm trying to block in the shadows so I can find my figure. Quick brush strokes. My brush strokes are always fast. I try to keep them rhythmic so you can enjoy them when you look at them. Just Trying to get the sky and the ocean in. Yeah, I'm blocking in uh, way more color. I'm trying to impact the picture even more. You can see my, my paintings are about shapes. I think all of my paintings are basically ab organized abstract. Just blocking in big forms. I'm always blocking in big forms, even when I'm done. In detail. Keeps the painting exciting. And you can go from cloudy gray to the morning brilliant blue. This is gonna be a whole sequence of the ling up color. The purest part of the sky and the ocean too. There you are, there it is, everything that life has to be. Painting's right in the middle right now. I can see some shapes. I can understand my drawing without having to draw Ellie. You can see more colors been put in. But I didn't neglect my shapes. Look at Ellie's right hand, how big it is. It's gonna remain big in the last, in the end of the painting. I like work that has, that is trapped somewhere with just your, just your painting and finished art. I think it makes it more painterly. I think sometimes if you look at, if you squint your eye and you look at the forms that you see, you see less detail and more variety, more excitement. You can interpret that in a brush. You got a nice painting. I try not to pay attention to a lot of specifics when I'm working. I think uh, you pay attention to the specifics, make the picture heavy. Um. So laying in all the color, trying to find the light. It takes dark to find the light. It's 
it might look like I'm doing detail, but I try to use big brushes and use the corners so that I don't get bogged into small shapes. I think in this in this video I did for you guys I wanted to spend more time on the figure at least in the parts that I showed you because the way I wanted to make the painting is I wanted Ellie to come forward in front of the background yeah, I'm just playing with the paint. Oil paint is really magical. It's my favorite. I'm building some shadows. I'll be trying. I'm going to trap some of the light. You have to keep an eye on the brush because simple strokes are pretty complicated to make. But if you do them fast, you seem to get them right. Yeah, I'm chopping the negative to, to frame edges. Uh, Ellie's hand, I'm sorry. It's better than drawing it. To use shapes to explain it. I'm going to have to build up on the darks. And I'm going to have to play the light. So you see that light I just chopped in there? I'm going to paint her hands, yeah? I'm just going to put spots of shape in and around her hand and it'll make her hand. Um, coming to the end of my video, at least the parts I wanted to show you guys. Here I'm just glazing to make sure I get color to pop. I would have done this glazing probably days after painting dried. I think that's why my paintings take so long. It's not so much time I spend on it as much as uh, the time it takes to dry so I can work on it again. Well, this is a painting alley. Yes, I've signed it now. It's gonna come to the end of this part of the video. I'll say a few things on what I looked for in the painting at the end. I hope you've enjoyed my recording this time. I try to make it a little more creative. I'll see you again. Simplify it so she comes forward. But the movement of the waves, some of my lines here dancing away. And that's about it.